My life before Christ was, gosh, it was just a big mess. I think that there's no movie, uh, there's no book that could do justice. Just the, the sheer craziness, I think, of my life uh, between drugs and alcohol and everything that you're not supposed to do is everything that I was doing. When I finally came back to God, um, it really was, I think, very much the, the prodigal son type story. And I think that, uh, you know, I just, I had spent 27 years of just being, being wrong and being lonely and being miserable and 12 years being an atheist and, and just abusing everything that I could possibly abuse. And, and I heard an interesting saying a couple years ago that, that God put somebody in your life to, to plant the seed of Christ. And, and then he put somebody else in your life to water that seed and let it grow. Shannon was somebody that was always there for me. He, he's a, obviously a Christian and, and he knew that I was an atheist and, and he was just there to, I, I believe as, as just an angel from God to, to show me, you know, to teach me patience and to, and to teach me that uh, no matter what I was doing, that there was a different way and that there was a better way. When I met my wife, um, it, was, it was in May of 2005, and this was probably at the height of my, my alcoholism and, and my drug abuse, and, and just like I said, just life abuse. Uh, Mandy was the person that uh, everybody in my life had been praying for. She was the angel that God sent that, uh, that watered the seed. And, you know, we just had a conversation one night, and, and just the presence of God, uh, it was just, it was so strong and so, uh, just so, so prevalent that there was no ignoring it. And, and she was like, you know, do you want me to pray for you? And I was still being stubborn. And so I said, you know, no, I'm going to go inside and pray. And uh, fully thinking at the time that I was just going to go in and, and ignore it. Um, but what ended up happening, of course, was I went in and <laughs> And God won that battle and, and, you know, I just pretty much just fell on my face and, and, and cried and prayed for, you know, about an hour. And, and uh, so after 27 years of misery, you know, I finally accepted God into my life again. Life since accepting God back into my life has been uh, nothing short of a fairy tale. Um, I think that the level of happiness, the level of joy, just the level of everything that could possibly be positive um, is, is at its peak. I think, or not its peak, but it, you know, because it's going to continue to grow. I think it's just at such an awesome level right now. Uh, man, I just think that there's no adjective to describe how awesome life has been since, since God has been in my life. You are going to stumble, regardless of if you have God in your life or not. You are going to stumble and you are going to fall, but these aren't bad things. They're just, they're trials. I think that everybody goes through to test your faith. I don't have to be afraid anymore to stumble and fall because, you know, where some people aren't able to get back up and, and learn, you know, I'm given the, I've been blessed with, with the ability to know that no matter what, I can get back up and that I will get back up and that I will get back up because he's going to help me. Life, you know, I accepted Christ two years ago, um, but this is just the pinnacle of all that. It's just, it just means everything to me. It's, it's more, again, it's more than just the, the mental and the spiritual cleansing, but it's actual, the physical cleansing of, of 27 years of gunk that's just built up that uh, it's time to go. It's time to, to let it go, so.